Hello, this is Sid Wasi back again with another lesson, but this time the lesson is going to be on IELTS. And the topic of discussion today is IELTS listening and specifically the map task. And as you have seen in the title, I have given the name of this today's lesson the nose trick because I am going to give you a very interesting trick or tip whatever you say which is going to solve your map related listening problems because many people get confused to solve maps because they actually lose the direction that is the main problem and that is why they miss one location then they miss another location then they totally blunder. So in order to solve this problem here I come with an interesting trick that is called I have named it nose trick and you will agree that this is an IELTS listening uh, lesson never seen before because what I am going to do is I am going to demonstrate what I say uh, creating a map for you a virtual map with my speech and helping you out with the direction part. So what is nose trick before I go to the map and show you let me tell you what I mean by nose trick it is just like yeah th that is the nose I am talking about. It is like, like for example, in order to find a direction, even in real life, what you do, you consider your position first. And here what I say is that do not, you, you should not only consider your position, but also you should consider your position, the position of your nose first, like where your nose is facing, that is important. Because this will help you keep yourself on the track of the right direction and understand whether it is left or right, which one is left or right, front, back. So always remember the nose direction. Then where to start from? Usually every map given in IELTS listening will definitely have an entrance or a starting point. So from that and they will definitely start from that starting point and they will also give you direction sometimes with north, south, east, west. That will also help you to decide where your nose is. Let us say from the starting point you are facing somewhere, from that point you have to immediately imagine your nose direction where it is and if they are now asking you to go straight then you imagine your nose going straight and then they are asking you to find something on the left then it will be on the left of your nose, on the right it will be on the right of your, on your nose. If they are asking you to go backward then your nose is here so you have to go there. So that is how you understand where you are standing and which part you are looking for. But as long as I am talking it is not very clear. So let me show you right away with a proper demonstration of what I mean and that is going to clear your mind about the problem solving task for map in IELTS listening. So let us go to my map that I have created for you and I am now going to show you the demonstration. So hi, uh, the camera angle is different now, so I am looking shorter, does not matter because I am going to show you the map now. So here the map is, basically I have created the map for you, as you can see right now you will see on the ground the map. So I hope you are already looking at it, yes, that is the map I have created for you to demonstrate the nose trick. And as you can see there are different parts of this map. So if you look at it, you can have some idea that it's probably an academic institution because we have office, classroom, reading room, reception, study room and others. And as usual, there is an entrance. So that is the, basically I'm talking about this, that is the entrance. This is where I'm standing now. So generally, when you have an entrance or starting point, the discussion starts right from there. And to help you with the, also the direction, there is also, it, when you have this kind of direction or map, like the compass, it's very important because sometimes they may refer as north, south, east, west. So you have to look at it as well. And then you have to consider the entrance or the starting point. As I said that, you know, there will be definitely a starting point for the map discussion as the speaker will start from there. And if you consider uh, my position, that is me, you see, that's me, yeah. So I'm standing right now, right here, facing there, my nose is there. And we are going to start from here. So suppose the discussion here is that uh, the speaker says, okay, so if you start from the entrance, uh, you will and move straight ahead like this, you will find the reception in front of you. 
So if I'm facing my nose this way, my left side would be this, not this one. So on your left side, you will find the lobby. So again, I remember that my nose is facing to the reception. And then you can say on your right side, you find the study room. And keeping the reception on your, uh, in front of you, if you turn right, so where my nose is now, it's facing this direction. And you move a straight ahead. So right on your left, you find the reading room. So I'm facing this way, so that will be my left, not this one. Okay, so that's my left, right? And if you take a turn on left and keep moving straight and straight, then you find the classroom. Again, the speaker may say right in front of you, the classroom will be there. And if you go from there, if you go westward, so if you remember the east, north, south, east, west, I have shown you. So then the west part would be this way this is west so now you are facing west again your nose is that way as you can see that is your nose so the speaker again may say you keep going ahead you keep going ahead and you will find yourself in the middle between the restroom and the office and again the speaker may say if you turn from there if you turn southward take your left southward take your left and again keep moving ahead like this so you will find back the lobby and on the right side you will find the information desk so that's all about the nose trick and stuff and uh, i hope you have liked it and you try to solve the problem using this trick remembering the nose position uh, and let me know your feedback if, you, if this trick has worked on, uh, in the comment under this video. And I'm going to uh, upload some more videos on IELTS and other stuff. And uh, till now, bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get notifications. And you can also like my Facebook page, which is Silbidi on Facebook. So I'll see you some other time. Ta-da, bye-bye.